Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I drove the Viking to work and I said to him, would you mind if I just popped to Ikea? I want to buy some candles. A couple of candles turned into a little bit of a masked up, really quick dash around Ikea and I came out with three bags full. <laughs> then I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a haul and you said 100% that you do. So here we are. I am surrounded by a glorious mini, kind of quite large Christmas haul. Very early, it's not even Halloween yet, but I'm gonna share it with you today. So let's get started. Before I headed to Ikea, I will be completely honest, I did pop into the charity shop. When I came back home and Ingmar saw everything I bought, I just said to him, don't worry, I bought you a present too. So we'll start with that. I bought him some wooden coat hangers because the amazing wife that I am, I do his ironing for him. It does get better. I am obsessed with all things rattan and yep we have another this is an absolutely gorgeous little uh, kind of rattan suitcase which will probably work for mia's storage and toys but i'm gonna try it off in the bathroom first because this will fit on the shelves and we'll store either my straighteners or all of our swimming stuff because the pills are closed all of our stuff is just sitting there waiting to be used so i might put it in this and this was only 400 krona which is about two pounds a wooden tray i'm going to try and make some kind of sensory activities for mia at the weekends so we will collect items and i might try and share some of that in vlogs with you and try and get back into vlogging Ta -da! I realized that she is changing so much and the whole point of vlogging is to record all of that and share it with family and friends and you guys and so this will hopefully be something that well, <laughs> I will get creative with, have fun with her and vlog it as well. And then I have started doing some Christmas shopping for her. So I bought, I think this is called Duplo, I can't remember, just a toy for her to stack and build and create things with. So that's gonna be put away for her Christmas. And that was it from the charity shop, so let's get into the Ikea stuff. Because of the whole COVID situation and potential lockdown and so on, things in Iceland, in the Ikea in Iceland get grabbed and are out of stock quite quickly. So I went a bit mad. We needed napkins. <laughs> We've got some, what do you call this, ribbon? It's not really ribbon, like cord for wrapping presents. I'm trying to think about the Christmas content right now. We're not going to do Vlogmas daily because that was just epic last week, last week oh my goodness last year and was exhausting <laughs> it really was so I think this year to be a bit more realistic we're going to do weekly videos and maybe try and do an another bonus video of kind of a craft or an activity one as we go as well and I'll just see how I cope with the editing and uploading of all of that so if you want to see Christmas content and you've got anything in mind, please let me know in the comments. For the last couple of years, Ingemar and I have done the gingerbread house, decorate your gingerbread house. So I bought two of these, a muffin tin. So I got a large one of that and a smaller bread cake tin. I had to grab a bottle of the mulled wine mix. This is not alcoholic, but it is the flavoring. Just because I was obviously in Christmas mode and total weakness, I bought a packet of the Christmas tree jelly sweets. A pair of these um, tongs, wooden tongs, yeah. So these are gonna go with the sensory board that I'm going to make for Mia. And then for Mia's little craft station, her desk that you're propped on right now, I bought the roll of paper, which probably mummy will use, let's be realistic. Watercolor pencils, these pens which are stamp pens which look kind of fun some bigger thicker crayons we've got a box of crayons that were hand-me-downs and i think i might melt them into little blocks for her and then what i actually went to ikea for ikea have a new range of candles so i bought two of these cinnamon candles and these smell amazing it is difficult to smell candles with your mask on but i managed it enough to buy three 
plus candles so we've got two cinnamon ones and then this three wick candle which is lavender and lemon but these smell really really nice and then as i was buying candles anyway i decided to get a whole box of them and then obviously i needed something to stamp them in so sonia has gone a bit mad but guys <laughs> The sunset here is at five o'clock and sunrise is about eight o'clock in the morning. So already we are super dark <laughs> and I'm feeling like I need to be cozy with my candles and my lights and fairy lights and all of that jazz to keep me going and to not get down and feel <laughs> like it's too dark and rug up on the sofa and just watch Netflix all day. So I'm hoping that these lovely candles and fairy lights and everything are gonna make me not feel too sad about the COVID situation and we'll work on some hoogie ideas. I also bought another one of these artificial eucalyptus because they had this table that was decorated for Christmas and these were laying I think on the plates or beside the plates and it looked really pretty so I think I might recreate that for our Christmas dinner place settings. And then last but not least I bought a little Christmas tree. <laughs> it is just a small one and this is gonna go in Mia's room and will be really nice for her to just have some little fairy lights on it and some decorations that maybe she makes at nursery or she makes with mummy and this will be her Christmas tree and it is completely mad to buy a Christmas tree in October and all of this stuff that was <laughs> made me feel good at the time and I'm happy to share it with you all and I'll definitely use it and I will be happy in my little winter haven here. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, make sure to comment down below your Christmas content ideas, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.